amidst increasing concerns about the health impacts of electromagnetic fields, or EMF, from devices like cell phones and Wi-Fi, a crucial conversation is emerging in the scientific community and public discourse. John Coates, RF Safe's founder, has raised a critical point that merits urgent attention, the possibility that our modern, artificially enhanced electromagnetic environment could be a significant factor in the rise of inflammatory conditions previously attributed to genetic predispositions alone. Recent data revealing a staggering increase in colorectal cancer rates among children and teenagers is alarming. Over two decades, diagnoses among young people aged 10 to 14 and 15 to 19 have risen by 500% and 333% respectively. While these numbers are still relatively low, they signal a potentially grave public health trend that could no longer be ignored. The traditional risk factors, such as diet, lifestyle, and genetic predisposition, do not fully account for such a sharp increase, particularly in such young populations. The conversation around EMF has predominantly focused on its thermal effects, how much these fields can heat biological tissues. However, numerous studies, including those by the U.S. National Toxicology Program and others, have indicated that EMF can lead to changes at the genetic level, affecting RNA and DNA in ways that do not involve heat. These findings suggest that EMF exposure could potentially lead to hyperinflammatory conditions or exacerbate them, particularly when multiple cellular stress responses converge. We are living in an environment that is markedly different from that of previous generations due to an unprecedented increase in exposure to man-made EMF. This change could be influencing fundamental biological processes in subtle but profound ways. Coates's perspective aligns with emerging evidence that suggests these environmental factors could be significantly disrupting our body's natural regulatory mechanisms, including those governing inflammation and immune responses. The medical community's increasing awareness of the microbiome's role in health and disease exemplifies a broader shift in understanding the complex interactions between our environment and health. Similarly, the hypothesis that altered EMF exposure could be affecting our health points to a need for a broader, more integrated approach to public health research, one that includes the potential systemic impacts of chronic EMF exposure. It is crucial that we reevaluate our EMF exposure standards, which are based on decades-old science and assumptions. Modern research must be funded and pursued aggressively to explore all potential health implications, especially those affecting vulnerable populations like children, who will endure longer durations of exposure throughout their lives. The alarming rise in colorectal cancer among young individuals could be a canary in the coal mine, signaling potential health issues related to our changing environmental conditions, including increased EMF exposure. By integrating the latest scientific research and adopting a precautionary approach to EMF exposure, we can better protect public health and pave the way for safer technological advancements. As we continue to navigate this complex issue, let's ensure our actions and policies reflect the best interests of public health, informed by a comprehensive understanding of all potential risks. In recent years, a growing body of research has started to unveil the broader implications of electromagnetic fields, EMF, on human health, challenging long-standing assumptions about their safety. One such groundbreaking area of study highlights how EMF exposure, particularly at non-thermal levels, such as those emitted by everyday electronic devices, can lead to significant alterations in gene expression. This emerging evidence suggests a potential link between EMF exposure and the rise of inflammatory conditions that were once thought to be mainly influenced by genetic predispositions. Understanding gene regulation in the context of EMF exposure is crucial. Recent scientific inquiries, including a pivotal study examining the impact of 50 HC EMF exposure on gene expression, have demonstrated that EMF can both upregulate and downregulate gene functions directly involved in inflammatory processes. This kind of regulation is crucial because it implies that EMF exposure does not just passively exist alongside biological processes, it actively participates in the molecular conversations within our cells. 
This study revealed that exposure to EMF resulted in changes in the transcription levels of various genes, including those associated with the immune response and inflammation. Notably, the alterations included both upregulation and downregulation of genes, reflecting a complex and nuanced interaction between EMF and the body's cellular machinery. One of the more revolutionary ideas to emerge from this research is the notion that environmental factors like EMF could lead to what might be termed spontaneous genetic inheritance. This term describes a scenario in which individuals could inherit gene regulatory traits induced by EMF exposure, not through traditional genetic inheritance from parents, but through environmental impact on gene expression and cellular function. This mechanism could explain the increasing prevalence of inflammatory conditions in populations without a previous family history of such diseases. If EMF exposure can cause transcription errors or alter gene regulatory networks, it might lead to the development of health conditions as a direct result of environmental exposure rather than inherited genetic factors. The potential for EMF to influence gene expression and contribute to health conditions through mechanisms other than direct DNA damage calls for a significant reassessment of how we regulate and manage EMF exposure in our environment. This is particularly urgent considering the pervasive nature of EMF sources today. Re-evaluation of EMF safety standards. Current safety standards, which primarily consider thermal effects, are inadequate for addressing non-thermal biological effects demonstrated by recent research. There is a pressing need to update these standards based on the latest scientific findings. Public health policies. As we understand more about the non-thermal effects of EMF, it becomes crucial to develop public health policies that recognize and mitigate these risks, especially for vulnerable populations such as children, who are more susceptible to environmental factors. Further research continued research is essential to fully understand the long-term impacts of EMF exposure on gene regulation and its implications for health. This research should be independent and well-funded to provide clear, unbiased results that can guide public health decisions. The link between EMF exposure and the regulation of genes associated with inflammation represents a significant shift in our understanding of environmental health risks. It suggests that our daily interactions with technology could have deeper biological implications than previously thought. As we move forward, it is vital that our public health guidelines reflect these findings to better protect individuals from the potential risks associated with EMF exposure. By acknowledging and addressing these environmental influences, we can take more informed steps towards safeguarding our health in the digital age. Learn more at rfsafe.com.